Take the wheel of this smart new Oldsmobile. For performance, here's the star. This is the rocket engine car. Futuramic, through and through. It has high dramatic, too. When you take the wheel of this Oldsmobile, there's a big new thrill for you. That's it. Okay, kids, we're off the air. Good show. Let's kill those lights over there. Let's clear the set for the next show. Good show. Thanks, boss. Tell me, Johnny, you were in great voice today. Oh, you're so sweet to say so. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so true. <laughs> oh, Hello, Billy. Uh, hi, all. Here's another batch of fan letters for Lucille and Johnny. Oh. Thanks, Billy. Mm -hmm. Golly, look at them all. Hey, here's one from our sponsor. Oh. Maybe you better open that one first. Good <laughs> idea. Dear Lucille and Johnny, you are cordially invited to make a personal visit to the Oldsmobile plant in Lansing, Michigan. Oh, Johnny, look. To meet the men and women and see the machines that build the famous rocket engine. Gee, and it's signed by Mr. S.E. Skinner, general manager of Oldsmobile. <laughs> How about that? I'd like to see that rocket engine plant myself. I understand it's the largest and most modern high compression engine plant in the world. It sure is, and it costs millions of dollars. Oh, that's what I understand. Well, I'll see you kids later. So long, Hal. So long. Johnny, if you'll wait till I change, I'll have lunch with you. Okay, swell. Then we can read these letters together. See you in ten minutes. Steve? Well, hello, Johnny. Come on in. See the show? Oh, I didn't have time. I've been all tied up with these interplanetary experiments. Interplanetary? That's right. Well, you read in the papers about how the Army is getting radar signals returned from the surface of the moon. Well, it's the same thing with our experiments. You mean you're trying to tune in on broadcasts from the moon and the planets? Sure. And you'd be surprised at the things we pick up with this experimental and research equipment. Really? Excuse me, John. Research lab, Steve speaking. Okay, I'll be right in. Well, I've got to run down to Studio B, Johnny, so uh, make yourself at home. Okay, I will. I'm just waiting for Lucille. We're going out to lunch. from the moon and the planets. He must think I'm crazy to believe that. You are most prompt. Ma, ma bob, meb. We will speak in one of the languages of the Earth people, because you will soon be using it again, for the next day or so. Ma bib. I mean, yes, sir. So for the time being, we will forget the Marsonian tongue. Marsonian tongue? So please rehearse as much Earth as possible. Earth people? So that you will be proficient oh, in no. its use. It can't be. I have orders to send you on a special mission to the planet Earth. As usual, you will take a flying disc. You will take off from this point and land approximately here. 
Then it is. From this point, it's Mars. I've tuned in Mars. Where your mission hey, Steve, is. come here, quick, look. Now, the reason for this special mission is this. For some time now, we in the Interplanetary Intelligence Department have been greatly concerned over the tremendous scientific discoveries and advancements of the Earth people. That's true. They now know about the atom and they Next know... thing we know, they will be sending explorers to invade us here on Mars. But they don't have the flying disk. How could they? With rockets. They do have rockets. That's right. I'd forgotten about the rockets. We don't dare forget anything or overlook any possibility. But what if the Earth people did come? We visit them occasionally, although they don't know that we do. That's different. We don't try to change their habits. But can you imagine what would happen on Mars if the Earth people came up? First thing you know, they'd have us chewing gum, reading comic magazines. Our airwaves would be full of soap operas, bebop music, and our super television sets would carry advertising commercials in color. No. So you see, we must stop the possibility of an invasion from Earth by rockets. If we don't, we might even end up paying income taxes. So your job is to go down to Earth as quickly as possible. Find out how far they've progressed in the rocket industry. And you know the rest. Sabotage? Yes, that's it. If necessary, use this. Now, here is the plan. Get me the FBI. No, make it the United States Army and hurry. Wait, get me the President of the United States instead. You see, there's a man coming down here from Mars and... No, I don't want the chief operator. I... Oh, never mind. She'd never believe me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 